subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Leela Bakore tutorial. In the previous video, we talked about the brief outline of phylum core data. Now we will take individual uh, subphylums and discuss examples which are under this. So first one is Euro core data. In Euro core data, we said that the notochord, which is a chordate character, is present only in larval stage and that too in the tail region. So their larva, they have this notochord only in the tail part. Now when the larva undergoes metamorphosis, so during retrogressive metamorphosis, this tail is lost. So as the tail is lost, the notochord is also lost. That means the adults do not have it, do not have this notochord. And because of this metamorphosis, when the larva changes into the adult, the adult looks like a very stumpy uh, organism. The organism is like this. This is the body part and then there is a foot part with which it is attached to the substratum and this is the body. Now the body has two openings and these are known as siphons. So one is called the branchial siphon and the other one is known as the atrial siphon. And each opening uh, opens into a sac like structure which is inside. Now this entire body is covered with a layer which is tunic and that is why they are also termed as tunicata called tunicata as the body is covered with this tunic. And uh, we also wrote the example that we are talking about here is herd mania. It is commonly also known as sea squirt. The reason for giving this name is it darts water whenever any predator approaches it. So body is covered with this tunic and there are two openings. And it is a stumpy structure. The adult is like this. They are hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodites means the male and female sex organs are present in the same animal. But they favor cross fertilization. And this is possible because they are protogynous. This is possible because of due to this nature which is protogynous nature. Protogynous means the female sex organ that is ovaries mature first and by that time, the male sex organs are not fully functional. The sperms are not formed. <coughs> so fertilization with the sperms of the same animal is not possible. And so that is why we say that they favor cross fertilization due to protogynous or protogynic nature. Development is indirect. That means there is a larval stage. And here also we have been talking about this larva which has the notochord. The larva is known as Ascidian tadpole larva. So this larva has this notochord 
and this larva when changes into the adult that tail is lost. Eurocordate especially these Herdmania type, Herdmania is exclusively marine. So they are found only in sea water, not in fresh water. So chordate because the characteristic feature is there or are there of uh, chordata and when we were talking about the characteristic feature of chordata we said that these chordate characters can be found in any stage of the life. In case of eurochordates, the, those characters especially the notochord is found only in the larval stage not in the adult stage. Now when we take some other examples we will uh, realize that there are other characters also like pharyngeal gill slits and tail and everything those are present only in the embryonic stage and as the uh, animal undergoes metamorphosis all those characters get lost. So this is one important subphylum that is Eurochordata and if you remember Euro and Cephalochordata together are known as protochordates because they are considered as the primitive chordates. Now in the next part we will take another subphylum that is Cephalochordata.